I just see what kind of flex Magna Cut gets before it breaks. I'm trying to apply a slow bend to it. Okay, this is that test piece of Magna Cut. I'm just gonna try to do a nice slow bend and see how far it'll go before it breaks. No herky-jerky stuff, you know. <sighs> Major force on it when it breaks. But, uh, there's still a lot you can do with these test pieces. Now, after that, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to see how much corrosion resistance this stuff has, you know, real fine grain. Forging steels, forging steel, high carbon steel, zoo tight, high carbon steel, so those two big sections there are all high carbon steel. Here's stainless steel. Come on, Hank. <laughs> it's all uh, stainless steel in here, mostly AEBL. This is 8670 and 80 CRV2. And here's some 1095 and 1075. And then uh, here's the Magna Cut. Got some Magna Cut in here. And there's all the scrap steels, scrap pieces. And then the woods. Okay, we got some test pieces of Magna Cut. I'm gonna put some mustard on this one. Um, got some salt. Nice salty water. All right. Put this piece in there. And then this one has already got the like. Yeah. I'll just get this one wet. See if it does anything. I'm just sitting it out in the water. Okay. I'm going to let them sit. Okay. 24 hours later. The regular water did nothing. No rust whatsoever. The mustard is freaking hard. <laughs> All right. Oh. Huh. I'll have to find something to wipe that off with. Salt water did nothing. So in 24 hours, salt water. Soaking in salt water, even the grain structure, it's even burning that cut on my finger, but even the grain structure is in uh, nothing. The mustard hardened, but apparently it did nothing either. So the mustard did nothing, salt water did nothing, this stuff is crazy rust resistant. <laughs> wow. Nothing. 24 hours.